It is on. Yes. It is recording. It is indeed recording. <laughs> Q and A time. It's my first Q and A ever. It's exciting stuff. Yep. And we have a bunch of questions actually. Q and A question. What gym, your climbing gym called? I think we've answered this before, but it's called a Kleftesenter Telefon Plan. Yeah. In Stockholm, and it's actually one of two in kind of the, the series. The chain? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, it used to be like Cloud Center had three gyms, but like one gym is now owned by the government in Uppsala. But it's also like the gym where they have legends only every year. Uh, so it's kind of, it is a very nice gym to have. And we work at it as well. I don't know if you can hear the train, but we're living quite close to trains as well. Maybe we should close the, Maybe we should close the window. <laughs> <laughs> Niall? Neil M813 asking what shoes I'm wearing. So yep. I use the Okun Oxys. They're uh, coming up and coming out of Slovakia, is it? Some Eastern European country, like yeah. a pretty new company. They do a lot of, I really like their shoes. They're really soft and the rubber's pretty, pretty soft as well. Yeah. I would kind of liken them to the 510, 510 VXIs. Same way, like it's very soft shoe, like it kind of lost its form a little bit fast. Yeah. But in a good way, so now it's kind of more of a slipper than a performance shoe, I would say. Okay. Uh, and I'm looking for another video. Specifically, I think this one is re this is a really good question. And I get this a ton, I get it like every day at the gym. Uh, I'm just gonna find it, gonna find it. Let's see. Oh, this one's good. How long have we both been climbing for? Oh yeah, how long have we both been climbing for? Well, I've been climbing for about like eight years now, off and on. Sheet. Sheet. I this uh, is actually not tricky, but my friend Tommy always gives me shit. So if I don't say it, if I don't, if I don't add it into it, he'll just like, oh, he's just an asshole. Um, the thing is, like, so I started climbing. I first tried climbing. Uh, I think a year and a half before I actually started climbing. Um, so I climbed for two months. And then I stopped because life got in the way. So then a year and a lot, year and a half later, I picked it up again. And now I've been climbing you know, for like three months, uh, three years and two months, I think, plus the other two months for like a year and a half previous. Um, so I guess three and a half years, something like that. And I mean, I'm more psyched than ever. So I'm, I just think, like, even though my fingers are not perfect and I've injured myself, the, the psych is still high for sure. And uh, yeah, I just have to keep keep on pushing, I suppose. You smoked some weed here, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. That's <laughs> so funny. Um, oh. no. No. Like, I, I am very Swedish. I have nothing against smoking weed. I've never tried it myself. I, I live in Australia for a year and I got like a lot of offers. But uh, I don't know. It's yeah. like, I'm not, as I said, I have nothing against it, but I have never, like, I guess I haven't had a good salesman yet, like, in selling it on to me. Like, I. It's just, yeah, it sounds chill, but I mean. It's just like, it's not the right fit for him, you know? Um, I, I finally found the question I was looking for, actually. And it's from, the question is from Ashilala. She wrote to me, you wrote to me yesterday, if you see this video, but on my hand placement video. And this is like, ah, oh, this one is a good one. Check it. Oh, shit. Nick is watching videos and interrupting me. <laughs> Trying to find new questions, man. Yeah. So. She asked me if we could help her like with her blisters on her hands and getting them ripped off. I, like we call them flappers. And it's pretty much like you see beginners and they climb jogs and they kind of been training before in the gym maybe and they just keep like rolling their fingers over it just to the point you know where it kind of becomes like a small mountain up on the up on the hands. So what you need to do to like you need to lower the volume. So it sounds sounds a bit strange, but it's really effective. So you take sandpaper or Anything that is a bit of a friction, any sandpaper down those mountains of <laughs> that skin and hard and hard and tough skin. Uh, so you still want that left, but you just want to like you want to lower the volume so it won't get ripped off. Because it took me like I started doing that like I think half a year after, and I only had it once before. And so like when I had a break for a month, and I just was lazy, and then it ripped off. And I, that stuff was brutal. I forgot how like how much pain like a flapper is. So. Yeah, take care of your skin, just sandpaper down the, the toughness of the skin. Um, so take away the volume and then use a fatty cream so your skin repairs a lot faster. Um, I mean, I think every climbing gym sells them these days. 
Yeah. yeah. Even like um, they sell tat like creams for tattoos. Yeah. Same thing. It's just super fatty. Like yeah. really won't get in there. Right. Everybody keeps on saying that the crash pads look really oh. hard and they're super painful. And yeah. I can attest that that is not so. Like maybe if you do a sl really a sideways dyno and you like hit it and just like slide, they might be kind of painful. Yeah, but they but look they look a lot harder than the mats I've seen in America. Like you, I see people fall down on them and they just like. <sighs> But I mean, like you, you're from Colorado, you're from America, so you can guess you can tell me. Like, I don't know, that's from what I've seen. I think that's why people also answer the questions because our mats, they kind of like, they bounce a bit, but the ones I've seen in America, you just like sink down in them. Yeah. They're definitely not hard. They're actually super bouncy. They yeah. have a fair amount of like, kind of explosive force back up. Yeah. Not hard whatsoever. I mean, you can fall off at the very top and feel very little in the way of pain in your knees and back. Yeah. But down climb anyway, kids. Save your back and yeah, save God, your knees. Yeah, God, save your back. So if you I'm an old man, you know? Doesn't feel as great as he used to do. Didn't, or doesn't, rather. Um, Give me some more questions. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, when are we going to see you do some outdoor climbing? Eric, I think that's directed <laughs> at you, actually. Yeah, God. I mean, in Sweden, it's all about crimps. All the time. Doesn't matter, like, doesn't matter what, like, level you're on. It's crimps and they hate us. And so my fingers is like... You cream so hard that your kind of nails hurt. So it kind of feels it's a bit sketchy to do that with my fingers still, that it's a kind of still not 100%. And I want to, and I guess also like conditions in Sweden aren't <laughs> the best right now. It's like 25, rainy, moist, just like slippery, really, really slippery. But hopefully this autumn, like, I just really want to start climbing more outside. Cause I don't know, it's something I haven't done much and I think it would be really fun and get into it for sure. Um, a good experience. But hopefully during the summer now my fingers will fully recover and I can actually get my confidence back. But as I said in my like the latest vlog video, I'm gonna try hard now. I've been really afraid lately. I've been like, oh, I don't know, can I do it maybe? Should I? And now it's more like, I know I can do it. I just need to like man up and do it and try. I'm not gonna be reckless, but I just need to be confident in my own abilities. Um, so I mean a big part of that is outdoor climbing for sure, for sure. Searching. Is it on? Yeah, it is on my friend. On our donkey coin. Yeah. I think a lot of the people in the past, because we guess people that have also done other videos, previous ones long, like far, far away, far, far away in the past. <laughs> um, they also like yeah, my age, where I'm from. Uh, and stuff like that. So that's something I also can give an answer on. So I'm 27. I look like I'm, God knows, like 22. Blessed with youth in my exterior, but interior is like, <laughs> I just want coffee. And then, so I'm 27. I'm from, I'm definitely not from Stockholm. Like I, I have been living here for five years now. But I come from like a small, small town um, in, in Värmland, it's called. It's like, Super close to the Norwegian border, so I would say I guess I'm a redneck. I'm a Swedish redneck, but now I live in Stockholm, so I'm refined. I'm fine-tuned, <laughs> proud member of the Stockholm community. And you are from? Okay, so I'm from Colorado. Yeah. The raddest of all the states, hands down. And I'm from the uh, pretty close to Aspen, a small town called Carbondale. Yeah. So I'm a little bit of a redneck as well. Oh god! Just kidding. Way better than this fool. <laughs> and um, how did I end up in Stockholm? So I graduated um, last summer, and then was kind of just like looking for something new. And I've been to Sweden before, a fair amount. So like my Swedish was okay. <laughs> right. All right, continue. Sir. <laughs> that hurts, man. <laughs> But yeah, just decided to kind of jump in, and the first time around didn't really work out. And then I came back here in March for hard moves, and have actually been able to make it work this time around. So, videos of joy, much to come. I took him under my wings, people. I'm making him a man. He's a good. He's in, he, he's like he's a good. It's a good road ahead of him. He's doing good, for sure. But yeah, what else? That's kind of it. Like that kind of describes. Oh yeah, people keep on asking, like, um, if, why are we speaking English in the videos? Yeah. It's for you guys, it's for the viewers. Yeah. I think a lot of times we do speak English just because it's a little bit easier. He likes speaking English. Yeah. My Swedish isn't quite up to par for some of the more detailed and complex conversations, but... Yeah. 
Yeah. That's kind of that aspect of it. Yeah. I mean, I lived in Australia for for a year, and I had like uh, my ex girlfriend was um, Australian as well, so I just been talking a lot of English. I used to be terrible at English, but then I played computer games, became better, and then I've been traveling and, and living in other countries. So it's something that kind of like it's like I I was terrible at something, and now I'm fairly good at. My spelling is horrendous, though. That is that is next level bad stuff. But I'm Nick, and it's like the master in spelling as well, not only climbing. So that's good. He's helping me, so I'm working on that. Um, so yeah, yeah, I just enjoy speaking English English a lot more than Swedish for sure. Um, but yeah, I think, do we have any more questions? I think you have to go to work in like... When now? I can leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely have to go to work I now. I have to go to work now. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Yeah, and thank you for the questions and all the snaps. Give me more snaps, people. It's snaps really nice. with questions. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> I need to figure out how you record it, but I'll figure it out. Um, you just have to be able to write it really fast. Or take a snapshot. You can like uh, snapshot it. Yeah, I could, I could do that as well. Plenty of stuff to do. Um, all right, but Nick is going to go to work. I'm going to put on a good soundtrack and upload it, and then I'll join him at work. Do we need a soundtrack for this video? It's nice. Mellow in the background. Soothing the viewers. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Look <laughs> at me. All right, I'm all right. out. Peace. Peace, guys. Oh, God. Oh, I made a mistake with these jeans.